Welcome to Metal License 666. <laughs> I'm one of your hosts, Brian, joined by other hosts. Karen. Uh, Karen, what is today's topic going to be? We are going to talk about going to visit uh, Joey and Paul at a cemetery in Des Moines. Yeah, they're, they're tombstones. Um, so let's yeah, I guess visit their tombstones. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Where, they're, where they're buried. Um, let's start the timer. All right, so... You found this from like a Facebook post or yeah, something, right? Yeah, yeah. I can't remember exactly what I was on when I found it, but I'm going to look up the name of the cemetery while we talk about this. But um, somebody had shared the coordinates of where they were buried, and they're in the same, same cemetery. Yeah, so we in were Des in Des Moines for a show yep. and had some time to kill. So we're like, let's go, let's go pay our respects to Joey and Paul, and um, yeah, let's go find their tombstones. Yeah, yeah cuz we had quite a few lol moments that weekend where we kind of needed stuff to do. Yeah. So this is something we've never done this even being well, Joey has passed away after we uh, moved to Chicago. Yep. Uh, Paul had passed away before we moved to Chicago, I think. Paul, yeah, uh 2010ish somewhere in yeah. there. Yeah, that's yeah. what I thought. So, um I guess we could have <laughs> yeah, looked at so. his gravestone. But, um, yeah, we just, we've never done this for anybody, actually. We've never went to a gravesite. Yeah, we anybody. talked last year about going here in Chicago and, yeah. like, spooky season to, like, go, because there's, there's supposed to be haunted here in Chicago and, like, yeah. just go wander and, and check it out, like, when all the trees are dying and everything and it's cool air. I, I think it'd be a fun trip. We've done it in school as kids. We went and did, like, uh, the, the paper oh. where you put it down and you, like, rub it chalk over it or something and you yeah. get the image of it uh, so we've done that and we've talked about it in school but yeah this is our first time going to see like somebody famous or a musician yeah yeah because i know a lot of people do this where they go pay their respects to yeah. a musician or um i guess some people do it like when they pass away like they'll go to the hollywood walk of fame or Actors whatever and yeah. Stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah stuff like that so anyways um, i was just mentioning that we've yeah. never done that so. so what's the cemetery so they're in the highland Me um sorry highland memory gardens cemetery and it's off of 2nd Street and 60th Avenue in Des Moines. Yeah, so we pulled in. Um, you kind of go straight when you first pull in. And I, if I remember correctly, you can either go straight, left, or right. And we went left. Yes. And you basically go left as far as you can go, and you turn right again. It sort yes. of loops around right. Yep. And you go straight again all the way to the top to where it starts to turn right again. Yep. And we pulled over there. And... If you if you pull out of the driver's car, driver's seat, or even the passenger seat, to your up in front of you to your left, there's gonna be like this little statue of Jesus or something with this like little gardening thing yeah. around it. Um, from there, if you're basically at that statue and you look out, like with your back to that statue and you look out, there's like a shade tree across the street, and that's where we end up found joey eventually yep so it's at the end of that the uh, so if you go left and go all the way down that road as far as you can go it's at the end on the right hand side yep um so there's like cemetery around the outside don't go to that part because that's what we did first so it's beef like in this like where the road is like um it's in that little area right there so we ended up using find my grave or find a grave or something to find. You found it location. that way. I was going up and down the aisle yeah, uh, I was trying too. to find it. But there's people there like paying their respects to the family and I kind of felt weird. So I was like, let me yeah, try it, to pinpoint this a little it bit. It was more. a little awkward for sure. But was, I, I didn't feel bad as long as we were being quiet. Yeah, we were. Uh, yeah, yeah. Like if we we're yelling across like, hey, over here type thing. Yeah, like, no. Yeah, we were being very quiet and just walking up and down the rows. So. Also, I thought like this this will be easy to find. There's going to be a lot of uh, memorials, people dropping stuff off, paying their respects here as well. They're going to have big headstones. But the thing is, everybody basically had a flat to the yes. ground headstone. Yes, so it's hard to see them. So, so you have to like walk over it to see it. Yeah. But we found Joey. Yep. Yeah. We found Joey first under a nice little shade tree. Yeah. Uh, some flowers there that are really nice. And then people come with drumsticks and just left drumsticks. Yeah, lots of memorials there. Um. There's a bunch of picks here for Joey. There were a bunch of coins. And I remember you asking, like, I don't understand the coin thing. And I think it's the whole Greek, you got to pay the, the ferry man to get you across, like yeah. carry your soul across to the afterworld. Yeah. I know. So, I remember hearing that after you said it, but I was just like, why are there money? Why is there money here? Yeah. And a nice little quote. Uh, I don't know who said that, but I'm assuming it either was Joey or something that was very special to Joey around, like, you know, finding music and keeping it in your soul type thing in your heart. Yeah. Um, and then they are, Joey has like um, drumsticks and 
the Slipknot S. Yep. Um, a picture of him on there, and then um, has his name and uh, his birth date, his death date, um, yeah. and separating those because like sometimes they do like a um, hyphen. Um, but that's his Slipknot number, um, a one with a circle around it. I thought that was really cool to see. Um, yeah, that was really cool. Very emotional for sure, just being there and like. I remember walking away and you were pretty choked up a little I was, bit. Yeah. Um, and I don't know what it was, if it was being at the cemetery or just seeing all the memorials that people left or whatever. I don't know. It was just, yeah. it was just an emotional time. I was, I always say it's fun, but I, when I say fun, I mean like I was happy. I was happy to be there. I was happy we did it. Um, so like it was a memory. A, it was a good experience. I'm glad <laughs> yeah. we did it type yeah. thing. Yeah. Um, so then we head over to, find Paul because you knew Paul was somewhere around there as well yeah so Paul is um the screenshot that I got from Facebook was not correct um Paul is then if you keep driving around the driveway all the way not all the way to the end but the last um like where you can go north again um so you kind of had to turn before the last road so there's that there's a road with a pillar this giant pillar in the middle of the cemetery it's on that road yep so yep. that road then takes you right back out of the cemetery. Yep. Yep. Um, but it's he's on, in that corner yeah, as well. And it's on the, if you're looking north, he's on the left-hand side, again, under a shade tree. There's lots of his family. Well, I shouldn't say his family. I don't know his lineage. But there's lots of grays around him. There are, yeah. Like a gray, um, the family name gray yep, yep. Um, around him. So if you can find those, and some of those tombstones are very, very large. So um, around that, that is... Um, his tombstone, which is the smaller one. And as you said, again, under a shade tree. There's a few There's a few trees out there, not too many, though. Yeah. So if yeah. you're trying to go out there and find them, they're both under different trees. Really nice. Um, his has a bunch of flamingos around it, which is kind of yeah. cool. Some flowers. Um, and again, picks and change yep. are coins, coins for yep. paying the ferryman, I believe. Yeah. And then um, his had a lot more, um, like, there's, like, the bracelets and, like, the VIP Right, um, yeah. And then somebody had, um, and you can see it in a picture that Brian will put up probably, but um, like a picture of him playing, I think, is the first picture. Like, right oh, here. is it? Okay. Yeah, yeah, I think so. So that's really cool. I mean, it's it's pretty cool. And I I hadn't seen their tombstone, but I've seen others where like people leave stuff. Um, sorry, we're at time. Um, I didn't know if we had enough to no, get <laughs> six minutes and six, six seconds, but we do. Um so, and I'd seen that with other memorials where people left, like, their tickets or their VIP yep, yep. things or whatever. So, um, I think that's really cool that people did uh, leave memorials to them as well. And then his tombstone, very similar to oh, Joey's, yeah. a picture of him, uh, the Slipknot star and S in the middle. And then I'm not sure what the other picture is, but it looked like two skeletons basically hugging, laying yeah, on it's, rest. Gosh, yeah, what is that picture? It's I think like, it's from, like... Pompeii or something. Yeah. It reminds me of something like it's that. It's like where they they love each other. Or like yep. they were kissing. The kissing and skeletons, I yep. think, is what it was. So, yeah. And then uh, the same uh, same type of design with his name um, and then uh, the dates, uh, birth date and death date, and uh, separating them instead of the hyphen is um, his, his, number. his slipknot number, number two. So Yeah. Very, again, I, I wanted to say cool, but... Yeah. I, I, I use that word a lot for yeah. different emotions. Yeah, you're not like, oh my god, this is so cool. It's right. like this was. It was a very good experience. It was. I'm glad that we took the time to do it because we were meeting other friends as well. So we were like, kind of, not a time crunch. Yeah. Um, but it was like we kind of, we thought we had a lot of time this weekend. We ended up booking a lot of stuff, but um, I'm really glad we took the time to do this. I did too. Um, maybe in other places that we go. If we know there is a memorial somewhere. We might stop yeah. and do that as well. Again, I say fun, not necessarily. Oh my God, this is fun! You're gonna have a blast doing this. But like, it it was a good memory. I'm glad we did it. I enjoyed having the opportunity to come yes. and pay yeah. our respects yeah. to these two amazing individuals who left us too soon. So yeah, exactly. Um, if you can check it out, it's very humbling. It's very it's very nice. So, yeah. um, thank you both for all your music. Bye.